What's going on everybody? I'm back with another high risk coin booster video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a 10 million dollar buy-in and they're actually letting us bring our own quarters from previous games today. We got 500 of them. Well actually 550 because they gave me an extra 50 quarters since I did that 10 million dollar buy-in. So anyhow, wish me good luck. Hopefully we can walk out of here with a massive profit today. My goodness, they got this thing loaded up fantastically well. Looks like a massive pyramid of quarters out there in the center. There's a couple mystery bags on the edge. Nice, that blue one on the right side fell over, but it got stuck against the glass, unfortunately. And on the play field, they got all kinds of $1,000 chip towers with gold on top of them. And back there on the pusher, there was a pyramid of $1,000 chips, but we done got that to fall down. And behind that, there's a pyramid of $10,000 chips. And way back there, there's a pyramid of $5,000 chips with gold stacked on top of it. And on the blue shelves, they got all kinds of five and $10,000 chip towers, gold towers. And those brown towers back there, those are $25,000 chips. So we might be able to get that stuff that's on the blue shelves later on. We'll see, we'll see how the game goes pushing fantastically well so far we done got the majority of that uh, quarter pyramid to crash down the pyramid on the pusher it's going also nice that was a brilliant push right there oh yeah check that out we're about to get a whole bunch of ten thousand dollar chips right there in the center that's a whole bunch of them nice that mystery bag on the right fell down sweet and uh, that pyramid of chips on the pusher it's going Nice, there it goes, sweet. Wow, getting a whole bunch of thousand dollar chips. Getting quite a few gold bars today also. Oh my goodness, wow, that was an insane push right there. Did you see that? That was exceptional. And the gold bars, they're worth whatever one ounce of gold is at the moment. I think they're around like $1,830 an ounce, I'm pretty sure. Not really sure what the spot price of gold is today. I'm, I'm just saying like 1830 was what it was worth yesterday. So if somebody can let me know the exact spot price of a one ounce gold bar down in the comments, I would highly appreciate that. Anyhow, that right there was the last of the quarters. So let's go round up the quarters and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. So before I continue playing, I'd like to go ahead and open up one of these mystery bags. So let's see, which one should I start with? I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the blue mystery bag first. This one feels like it's loaded up really, really well. Oh my goodness. Nice, we got an extra like 10 or 15 grand there or so. Oh my goodness, it's still going nice. Wow, getting all kinds of five and $10,000 chips. So let's see, what do we get? Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. So we got two of the baby dice. Each one of these is a five times multiplier for my winnings. So this right here is automatically 10 times my winnings. That is amazing. And we also got uh, three of the $1 chips. Yeah, three of the $1 chips, the $5 chip, the $10 chip, and the $50 chip. So each one of the $1 chips is worth 500 free quarters. And the $50 chip, I get to cash this in at the end of the game. They'll take anything that's fallen down them side slots, and they'll put it back into the play field. And the $10 chip, this is worth one free tower. I get to cash this in. They'll let me spin a wheel. And that wheel has all these different types of chip values on there. And whatever it lands on, that's what type of brand new tower they'll build somewhere in the play field. And the $5 chip, I get to cash this in. They'll take all those towers that are on the blue shelves, and they'll put them into the play field somewhere. So that's not bad, not bad at all. That mystery bag was loaded up really, really well. So anyhow, let's get right back to pushing. Let's try to get all these remaining chips out of here. There's still a tower standing on that right corner. So once we win all that stuff out of there, I'll open up that uh, brown mystery bag. Nice, we got that tower on the right and a whole bunch of $5,000 chips. My goodness. So, you're welcome to leave a guess down in the comments and let me know how much money you think I'm going to win today from a $10 million buy-in. I know that's a lot of money to spend on one of these, but I'll do this for you all. I know y'all enjoy the big buy-in videos. I try to make as many of these as possible. Oh yeah, it's pushing pretty good so far. Come on, nice push. 
Oh yeah, I'd say we're averaging about 30, 40 grand every single push now. So it's pretty good. And also, we could really, really use a massive profit on this game today. Because I played three other games before this one. Two of the games was winning games, to be honest. So, like, the uh, first game, that was a winning game. The second game was a winning game. But the third game I played today, I lost everything that I had won. So, as of right now, I am down, like... I think it was 18 million dollars. I mean, that's pretty good compared to most days. Most days we're down like 50 million or more. So we need to at least make 18 million dollars in profit on this game right here to break even for the day. So we're going to have to win all these towers and chips out of here if we're going to break even and make all that money back. Yeah, that's the reality of playing these machines. You don't always make a profit. And I mean, I know it looks like I make a profit every single day. But, I mean, that's because I only upload the winning videos. Keep in mind, you always seem like the best game of the day. And I stand here, like, maybe 10, 12, 15 hours at a time trying to get a winning video for you all. And normally, like, I'll just post the video with the best towers in it and the biggest profit. So, if this video right here is a winning video, I'll probably post this video today. I mean, it all depends on how much we profit on this game compared to the other games I played. But all I'm trying to say is that uh, you can't always make a profit of these. And I've lost a lot of money today. $18 million, so. Well, that gold bar and those $5,000 chips on the right, they're being a little bit stubborn. It's five grand on the left, it's getting pretty close to the edge. Getting so many quarters back right there in the center. It's pushing pretty good, that's for sure. Oh yeah, those 5,000 dollar chips are starting to move a little bit now. Alright, well let's try another push or two, and if it don't get those remaining chips and gold, I'll go ahead and open up that other mystery bag, so stay tuned for that. Alright, let's see if that gets it right there. Well, at least we got that five grand on the left. Let's see if it moves that money on the right. Yeah, that might take a little bit to go. Anyhow, let's go ahead and check out that blue mystery bag. Alright, here's that mystery bag. So let's go ahead and check it out, see if there's anything good and valuable in there. It's a brown one, by the way. I don't know why I said blue. We done opened the blue one. Alright, let's see. What do we get? Oh my goodness. Wow, check this out. We got six dots in total. We got four of the white dice and two of the gold dice. So the white dice, I get to roll them at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, my winnings will multiply by those numbers. And the gold dice, I get to roll them at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, the gold bars will multiply by those numbers. That is remarkable. So anyhow, let's go ahead and cash in that $10 chip and all three of those $1 chips, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, Andy Coin Brusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $10 chip and all three of the $1 chips. They gave me an extra 1,500 quarters. And I got to spin that wheel and today it landed on $1,000 chips. As you can see, they built like three massive towers, $1,000 chips in there. Well, there's one enormous one back there on the pusher. And there's like two smaller ones on the corners. And as you can see, they left those uh, $5,000 chips in that gold bar in the exact same position on that right hand side. So anyhow, wish me good luck. Hopefully we can get it all cleared out of there now. So anyhow, hope y'all are doing good and having a wonderful day so far. Remember, if this is your first time watching my channel and you're enjoying my videos, do me a favor. Hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. Would help out tremendously. We're on the road to 135,000 subscribers. My goal is to get there by the 15th of this month, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also, let's try to get 5,000 likes on this video. 5,000 likes. I know we can accomplish that. Just need all y'all watching to hit that like button. i tell you what, if this video can get 5,000 likes within 24 hours of it being uploaded, tomorrow I will do a $50 million buy-in with 1,000 quarters at once. How does that sound? But only if this video can get 5,000 likes in a day. And uh, if this video can get 3,000 likes in one day, then I will do a... 
let's see. I'll probably do a $50 million buy-in also. I mean, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Alright, well, let's see. 3,000 locks. I might do a $30 million buy-in. And for 5,000 locks, it'd be a $50 million buy-in. And, uh... For 10,000 locks in a day, then I'll do a half a billion dollar buy-in, so... That's the requirements for those types of videos, if you would want to see those. Just, uh... Get me to 3,000 locks, 5,000 locks, or 10,000 locks. Oh yeah, it's pushing pretty good so far. Getting a whole bunch of thousand dollar chips right there in the middle. And them two towers, a thousand dollar chips on the left and the right, those are moving forward pretty well. Oh yeah, that was a nice push right there. Come on, oh yeah, nice. And something else that I've said a couple of times before, that wheel that I get to spin whenever I cash in that uh, $10 chip, it might be on a payout rate because it seems like the majority of the time that wheel just alternates between uh, one ounce gold bars and thousand dollar chips. I mean, it's very seldom do we get like five or ten thousand dollar chips or even twenty five thousand dollar chips. Seems like it just lands on thousand dollar chips and gold bars most of the time. So I mean, it might be on a payout rate, but I mean that's just like any arcade game or slot machine you play going to have to make so much money before it allows you to win a prize or anything. For example, you know those uh, claw machines? Like, sometimes whenever you pick up the prize, it will drop it on purpose just because the machine has not made enough money. Maybe the wheel is that way. Maybe the wheel has to be uh, spun like 50 times for it to land on $25,000 chips. I don't know that for sure, but I mean... It just seems like it's that way to me. Alright, well, we only got a couple quarters left. Alright, there they are. So let's go down there and retrieve the quarters. And we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's keep it pushing. So whenever I was down there collecting the quarters, that massive tower, $1,000 chips, that was on that right-hand side, fell into the payout chute. I think I got that on camera. I had it recording, so... Y'all definitely seen that tower fall down. Anyhow, let's try to get this tower on the left-hand side, and after we win that, I will cash in that $5 chip, and they'll take all those towers that are on the blue shelves, and they'll put those into the playfield somewhere, so stay tuned for that. Nice, we got that tower $1,000 chips. That's what I'm talking about. So I'll probably play off camera for a few minutes and try to win some of those quarters back that were stacked up. Because sometimes whenever we cash in the $5 chip or something, they'll like even out the play field and they'll take lots of the quarters off of there. And they'll take the quarters for themselves. They won't like give the quarters back to me or nothing. So I'm going to play off camera, try to win some of those quarters. And after that, I'll cash in that $5 chip. So we'll be right back. Alrighty, Andy Quimbush, your house return. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $5 chip, they took all those towers that was on the blue shelves, and they put them all into the play field. My goodness, they put all those five dollars and $10,000 chip towers like right there in the center of the play field. And they put like the two gold towers back there on the pressure, the $25,000 chip towers. And I forgot to point this out, but there was four mystery bags in there. They put like the sky blue mystery bag on the left corner. And the yellow and the dark pink mystery bag right there in the center. And the gold mystery bag over there on the right hand side. So, wish me good luck. Hopefully we can win all this stuff out of here. I feel like those towers back there on the pusher may end up falling over on the blue shelves. Then we would have to pay an extra hundred grand to have them put it back into the play field. Oh my goodness, nice. Wow, a whole bunch of towers are going already. Nice, we already got two of the mystery bags. Oh my goodness, well that tower fell backwards. This $5,000 chip tower, it's about to go. Nice, we got it. And it looks like we lost a whole bunch of $25,000 chips to the blue shelves. That is insane, so... Normally that would cost an extra hundred grand to have them put that back into the play field, but I just remembered we got that $50 chip, 
and whenever I cash in that $50 chip, they will do a free reset and take anything that's fallen over on the blue shelf and they'll put it back into the play field. And they'll also take stuff that's fallen down those gutters and they'll put that into the play field also. My goodness, this is pushing insanely well today. Nice, we got another tower to go. I feel like we should get that loose shoot cleared out. All right, let's get that loot chute cleared out real quick. All right, there we go. Got that loot chute cleared out. Oh my goodness. There's so many $10,000 chips on the edge. $25,000 chips. We're making a fortune today. Holy moly, that was a good push right there. Well, it looks like there's quite a bit of money and uh, gold stuck on that right-hand side, like down in the loot chute. Can y'all see that? Pretty sure y'all can anyway. So, I think the mystery bag is blocking the stuff from falling on down to the payout chute. I'm pretty sure it is. So, I'll try to get that cleared out here in just a second. If I can't get it, I'll call the staff back here and let them try to get it out of there. Yeah, because if anything gets stuck against the glass or gets stuck down in the loot chute, they would either count it as a win or just uh, move it around for you. Like they could move all those chips back in the machine somewhere. They could build a brand new tower. It's really up to the staff. I don't get a choose what they do. Well, typically, if something is stuck against the glass, they will move it around for you, and they'll put it in a different location. But then if the chips are stuck in the loot chute, then they'll count them as a win, since they've already, like, fallen over the edge. And there's still quite a bit of money in there. There's all kinds of $25,000 chips on the right, a bunch of $25,000 chips, and $10,000 chips on the left. Hopefully we can win all this stuff out of here on this round right here. Now this game is going by pretty quick today. Already cashed in that $5 chip. So I will open up all four of those Mr. Bags in just a second. Let's just finish out this basket of quarters. Nice, we got that left hand side completely cleared out. Alright, well let's try to get that uh, loose shoot cleared out real quick. Alrighty, I'm back. So I got that loot chute all cleared out. So now let's go ahead and open up these mystery bags. I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the gold mystery bag first. Let's go ahead and check it out, see if there's anything nice and valuable in there. Feels like it's loaded up pretty well. So let's see, what do we get? Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. So we got 30 grand in $10,000 chips, three more gold dice, and another white dice. That is absolutely phenomenal. So now let's go ahead and move on to this sky blue mystery bag right here. This one feels like it's loaded up pretty well also, so let's see what we get. Nice, check this out. So we got 100 grand in $25,000 chips and two more white dice. So now let's go ahead and check out this yellow mystery bag right here. Feels like it's loaded up pretty well also, so let's see what we get. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. So we got a one ounce gold bar, $5,000 chip, two more white dice, and we got the mystery money keychain. So this right here could be worth a dollar, or it could be worth a hundred thousand dollars, a million, a billion dollars. You never know. So I'll ask them what that's worth here in just a few minutes. All right. So now let's open up this uh, dark pink mystery bag. This is the last mystery bag. So let's see what we get. Oh my goodness. Wow. Check this out. We got two more of the white dice and one more gold dice and another 50 grand in $25,000 chips. That is exceptional. All those Mr. Bags were loaded up fantastically well. So anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and cash in that $50 chip and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, Andy Coin Busher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $50 chip. They took all those towers that was down in the, I mean, they took all the chips and gold that was down in the loot box and they put them all into the play field and they built them all into like brand new towers in there. I don't know why I said they took the towers that was down in there and put them in the play field. And anyhow, you get what I'm saying. They got a massive tower of gold right there in the center. There's a gray mystery bag back there on the pusher. And it also looks like they added a tower to the blue shelf. So that means 
that there's either a five dollar chip or a red earbud hidden inside that gray mystery bag. So I'll get to cash that in. We'll take that tower and we'll put it into the playfield somewhere. And all those twenty-five thousand dollar chips that we lost to the blue shelves earlier, uh, they put those like on the corners and stuff. So hopefully we can get them out of there. My goodness, look at that enormous tower of gold right there in the center. That's humongous. I'd say that's ever bit of like 30, 40 ounces of gold possibly. Oh yeah, that was a really, really nice push right there. My goodness, I'm dropping quarters everywhere. About to get that great mystery bag right there in the center. Come on, nice push. Nice, we got it. Fell straight into the payout chute. That's what I'm talking about. Now let's go ahead and load this thing up with quarters using that skill stop button. Let's try to get a massive base of quarters built up behind all these towers. I mean, if you've seen older videos, y'all will know the towers on the sides take a really, really long time to crash down most of the time. But uh, here a while back, a bunch of you all suggested the skill stop technique down in the comments where I use the skill stop button, put a whole bunch of quarters in there. And I've been trying that technique for a couple months now, and it's really, really proven to help get the towers on the corners to crash down. So it's a total game changer, like I've said before. And that uh, technique is extremely beneficial when there's like towers on the corners like this. Yeah, it helps them move forward tremendously. So let's keep on stacking this thing up. You see how we're getting a nice base of quarters built up back there? Like on the lower shelf and back there on the pressure. That's what we want. And we want all those quarters to build up behind these towers that are on the corners. Oh yeah, that was a good push right there. There's a whole bunch of chips about to go in the center. Oh yeah, that was another good push. Come on, big money. Yeah, we really, really need those uh, $25,000 chip towers to go. That's where all the big money's at. However, we're almost out of quarters. I'll have to go down there and round up the quarters real quick. Yeah, we only got like 30 of them left in the basket. All right, that right there was the last of them. So let's go retrieve those quarters and we'll get right back to work. Alrighty, I'm back. So before we continue playing, I'd like to go ahead and check out this gray mystery bag just to see if that $5 chip or red earbud is in there. Or else we'll have to pay that extra hundred grand to get that tower that's on the blue shelf. So let's see. Nice, nah, check this out. We got that uh, red earbud. So I'll get to cash that in. They'll take that tower and they'll put it into the play field. And who knows, they may rearrange all those other towers that are already in there. So that would be pretty nice. That way we don't have to worry about winning them from the sides anymore. And we're starting to lose a lot of our quarters. We only got like a bowl of quarters and like probably half of a basket of quarters. Before we had like two or three baskets of quarters plus the bowl of quarters. Now we're down to just like one bowl and half a basket. So might have to call it quits here in just a second and go ahead and cash in that red earbud. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be the last round right here. Nice, we got that tower of $25,000 chips on the left. That's what I'm talking about. And also, I asked them what that money keychain was worth, and you all are not going to believe this. They said it was worth $2 million today. Normally, that money keychain is worth about hundred grand, or sometimes less than that. So, $2 million, that is insane. And just so you know, the dice will multiply that. I will add that $2 million onto the chip count at the end of the game, I'll say... In total, I won however much money, and uh, just know the $2 million was included in whatever I say that I've won, so that is amazing. Oh yeah, do you see that? Them two towers on the right corner, they're moving, moving forward a whole bunch now. Come on, big money. Yeah, I think it's where we got a lot of quarters built up right there. Do you see that? Oh yeah, $25,000 chip tower. It's about to go into the payout queue. Nice, both of them fell, but the gold got stuck against the glass. And that tower got stuck also. Come on, big push. 
Yeah, I'm just trying to focus on this left hand side now. Alright, so we're almost out of quarters. We got a couple of them left in the basket. So let's get them in there. Nice, that tower fell straight into the payout chute. That is amazing. Alright, we got like four, five, or six quarters left. That right there is the last of them. So let's see what it does. Come on, big money. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, cash in that red ear bud and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, Andy Coinbusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that red earbud. They took that tower that was on the blue shelf and that tower that was on that left hand side and they just combined them all in like one great big old tower right there in the center of the play field. So wish me good luck. Hopefully we can get that tower to crash down. And it looks like there was like three $10,000 chips around it. We don't got one of them to go. There's two more $10,000 chips getting pretty close to the edge. We're about to win. Come on, nice push. Nice, got 10 grand right there. Not bad, not bad at all. Nice, got another 10 grand. This tower's getting pretty close now. Come on, big push. We're getting tons of quarters back today, that's for sure. Oh yeah, that tower's like another push or two away from going any moment now. It might fall backwards or it might fall straight into the loot chute. I don't know. About to find out. Come on, nice push. Oh my goodness. Well, it might get stuck against the glass. You never know. Nice, we got it. So let's get those three gold bars out of there. Then we'll be ready to call them back here and they'll put all those dice that we've won on the pusher. Right, that right there is the win. I'm not even going to put any more quarters in there. Nice. We got it. Got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely magnificent. This has been a wonderful game today. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and call them back here. I think we've won 17 dice in total. We got 11 of the white dice and 6 of the gold dice. They will put all 17 of them dice back there on the pusher. And we have to roll them on down to that lower play field area. And whatever they land on, we get to multiply our winnings and our gold by those numbers. So let's call them back here and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's keep it going. So I called them over here. They put all 17 of them dice back there on the pusher. So let's roll them on down to that lower level. Hopefully they all land on some humongous numbers today. And something to keep in mind, if any of the dice lands on a 1, it would be a 0. The 1s do not count at all. So if it lands on a 1, just pretend it don't exist. Well, it looks like two of the white dice landed on a 1 so far. The rest of them are doing exceptional. We're getting a bunch of fives and sixes. Couple threes, couple fours. It's doing pretty good. And whatever the white dice combined total up to, oh my goodness, well, quarters landed on top of that one dice. You can't even see the value of it. Well, we're definitely going to have to stop right there because if any of the dice fall over the edge, or down the gutters we would lose them but anyhow like i was saying just add 10 onto whatever the white dice total up to because that is a five times my winnings multiplier and so is that so that right there is 10 times my winnings so i think i'll call them back here and see if they'll take those quarters off of that dice because you can't even see the value of it so i'm gonna count everything up multiply our winnings and our gold ball that and i'll let y'all know how much money we've made from a 10 million dollar buy-in be right back you all are not going to believe how much money i've won today this is absolutely remarkable i ended up winning 11 million one hundred and eight thousand dollars and that is the chips and that money keychain combined and all those swap dice combined ended up multiplying my winnings by 46 and in total i ended up winning 510 million nine hundred and sixty eight thousand dollars from a ten million dollar buy and that is absolutely outstanding that's another huge life-changing jackpot win today absolutely mind-blowing i was not expecting a win like that today and on top of that we won 116 ounces of gold and all them gold dice combined ended up multiplying the gold by 18 and in total i ended up winning 2088 ounces of gold today 
and the spot price of gold is like $1,840, so that means we got an extra $3,841,920 in gold today. That is absolutely incredible. So anyhow, that's not bad, not bad at all for a $10 million buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's video, be sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. And also, if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of my videos, that will appear on the right-hand side of the screen. And if you want to check out yesterday's video, the previous video, that will appear on the left-hand side of the screen. And if you want to subscribe, you can click that button up top there to subscribe. So anyhow, I'll see y'all on the next episode. Y'all take care and have a wonderful day.